Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to show you how to create some uh, new morphic buttons in Axure. So we're not talking about Figma or Sketch or uh, Adobe XD, so in Axure RP. So if you're interested as usual, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment and that said, let's get started. And here we are inside Axure. So, as you can see on screen, we have two buttons. The first one that actually is the simple one, and I'm going to show you how to achieve this uh, neomorphic style in the simple way. And the second one is the most complex. Now, I'm going to show you uh, how it looks like and how it behaves uh, on preview. So, let's go in preview. Okay, so the first one on mouse over, you see, there is no transition uh, between the normal state and the hover state, right? I mean, the design, the result is okay, but it's, yeah, quite odd, right? The second one, as you can see, is exactly the same button, but you see there is a smooth transition, smooth transition transition between the normal state and the hover state. So let's see how to do it in Axure. And so let's recreate everything from scratch. So what we have here is just a button, a simple button. Let's create two copies of the same button. And this actually would be the, the three I would say layers on which we're going to work because Axure is not like other uh, design tools like Sketch or Figma where you can also blur some stuff like uh, blurring the, the outline or something like that. So we have to replicate the same thing with different layers. So we have the main button and actually uh, what I want to create is the, a dark layer and a light layer. These two are exactly the same button, but on one, the dark one, I'm going to apply a shadow. And the shadow, this shadow will be uh, something like, yeah, this the color, it's okay. I will put it like at 24%. And here uh, should be something like uh, 2, 4, and the blur, not 18, but something really close, like uh, 4, something like that, right? Okay, that, that's okay. And we do the same thing uh, for the light one. But, uh, of course, we change a bit the color uh, with something like, uh, yeah, more like this, something, yeah something like this, always at 24% of opacity. And here, now, before was two, two, four, and now we do minus two, minus two, four, right? So that we have this result, right? To me, it's, it's quite cool, right? Now, the thing is quite simple. We have to uh, do on the interaction pane, we have to create a, a style effect that is the mouse over style. So with the dark selected, uh, what I have to do more style properties and on the where is outer, sh outer shadow, I'm going to change the properties. For example, with uh, on the X, uh, we can say we can say for example eight four. That's okay for and blur with 16 okay and the opacity let's increase it a bit like a 32 just just for the dark one and for the light okay let's do the same thing so i add a new style effect mouse over style and again i'm going to change the properties of the outer shadow now with the opposite again so before was 8 4 16 now will be Minus eight, minus four, 
16 right and this is the result actually for <clears throat> the light one so now the only thing that we have to do is uh, to go on the on this uh, layer so on the group right and we have to uh, be sure that the, this checkbox apply mouse style effects on all widget in group is checked if i go in preview now you see so we achieved exactly what we wanted, right? So we did this uh, new morphic style on mouse over, but actually, as you can see, it's uh, quite odd, right? Because it's not, not really cool because it's, it's uh, immediate and uh, we should add some transition. But to do so, we have to, to approach it in a different way. Let's uh, go back on Axure and let's duplicate this. Okay, let's duplicate and I call it like button smooth to do a smooth transition between two things, right? So these two buttons, the dark and the light that uh, act as shadows only, basically <clears throat> have already the uh, the basic styles, right? So. The only thing that I have to do is to delete the mouse over style on those two, right? And I group them to create basically the basic style and I will call it B or basic, basic, like let's, let's call it basic, right? Now we have to replicate the hover style on a new layer, right? On a new group, I would say. So I copy, I make a copy and I put it below the main button and I would call it like hover, right? And now I have to change the properties, the size of this hover as the hover of before. So actually here the color for the dark is the same, but we have to put 8 for 16 and the color, I would say 32. And for the light one, same thing we do minus 8 minus 4 and 16 right so actually what we have it's uh two different states i would say I we can call it like this so we have the hover and the basic and what we have to do is to go on the mid button saying if i enter on the button show me the hover and hide the basic on mouse exit, we have to show the basic and hide the hover. And let's do it. So on interaction, on mouse over, on mouse enter, sorry, mouse enter, uh, show hide, show the hover with a fade effect of 360, it's perfect. It's okay. And I have to hide actually the basic, hide, fade, 360. We do exactly the same thing for the mouse exit, but we have to invert, right? So the show should be hide and the high should be shown, right? And the, uh, the other thing that I have to do is to the hover state, I have to put it as hidden at the beginning. So that basically the basic state is this one. <clears throat> and when we go in preview, You see this smooth animation that comes out, right? So there is a, a big difference in, in terms of style between this one that is immediate, you see? And this smooth transition, you see? It is more, I would say, neomorphic style or soft UI, whatever you wanna call it. Did you like it? And also this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me. As usual, what I ask you is to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like a comment and see you in the next video. Bye.